pictures are important. It's a virtual visual world out there and people want to know what you look like. So your website's going to work a lot better if we've got pictures of you on it. Here's the picture that pops up of Lynn when anybody logs on in Encinitas to the QB Express. So you need to send us a good picture to use here. Even other pictures. Here's a family portrait on her About Us page. A different business photo that we use on some of her postcards on her staff page. So what kind of photos do you want to send us? A business portrait, which is a headshot of the owner. Maybe one standing at your desk, hopefully in front of a bookcase. That always seems to work well. Uh, portrait headshots of the staff. Maybe a group photo of the staff. A picture of the office building, if it's appropriate, if people identify with the building when they drive by. And then, a, but of course, that doesn't work if you work from home like we do. So we don't include that. And then a picture of the firm owner with a client, if at all possible, so that we can pop the pictures in. Now, this is Dan Kavanaugh's. He looks great in this stand up picture taken by his son outside. Here's one of uh, Richard Mignette and his daughter in front of a bookcase standing up. This is what a business portrait would look like. And you can see here that RJ's even gone to the point where he's had a photographer come in and take photos of his entire staff to put in the about us section we love that if you're taking pictures yourself or if you have a photographer come over maybe a group photo of your entire staff looking very serious and another one where they're having fun uh, where they're goofing around a little bit because we want to personalize your presentation a picture of the building uh, if appropriate if, if at all possible a picture of you working with a client or a friend posing as a client uh, because we can pop these into your articles and into your website across the entire spectrum so that people start to feel like they know who you are now you can take these pictures yourself just simply use your own digital camera make sure there's a lot of lighting in the room and take lots and lots and lots of pictures then when you're done just pick the 10 best this might take an hour but just take a lot of photos and don't let anybody tell you well I don't look good in pictures or that sort of thing it doesn't matter they don't want to know that you're beautiful they want to know that you're a real person that I can talk to now if you don't want to take the pictures yourself then simply go on to Craigslist under services, creative services, and hire a photographer to come in. Uh, generally, it'll cost a couple of hundred dollars to have them come in. And they'll take hundreds of pictures, give them all to you on a CD, and you can pick the 10 you like the best. When you've got the 10 that you like, send them one at a time to the blue page on the TOG QB Express a website where we're managing all of the workflow. So simply address it to the uh, you are the address the email address for your uh, document management for the top of Google site in this case it says San Diego at paperlessovernight.net or it probably says Chicago or something like that and then name the photos only send one photo at a time but name the photo about with who's in the picture so we don't accidentally mix these up uh, send them to your blue page and then we'll take care of it from there and that's all there is in getting photos but this is real critical it needs to be done right away you do not want us using clip art in the place of photos and that's what we'll default to but customers can tell if it's clip art and they'll be less inclined to call so get your picture taken today thank you